let's handle this. Start with water. There we go. Want to get a poison shot early if we can, if you can hit. All right, so you you can hit people much easier and goblins, like people-shaped things, which is good. Overdrive already. Okay, let's do this. Boom. Okay. And we can still go further into overdrive, so let's get poison on you too. There we go. Excellent work. Okay, so I want to see this cleanse also do damage. A little bit. Okay, get your power shot on. There we go. Excellent. Getting the hang of it. Ooh, we found something. Okay. This door is locked. We need a key. Our first locked door of the game. Okay, let's go find a key and get this done. Pretty. Very atmospheric. Where are we gonna find this key? Okay. That water down there? Ooh, to make sure I notice places where we can climb, they're a little subtle. Okay, we can go in here. Okay, this might get- ooh, bigger enemies. Uh-oh. Okay, so now they're starting to get buffs. Alright, so if you give buffs, you gotta go first. Let's do cleanse, remove our enemy buffs. There we go. Uh-oh, we got poison back. But we're in overdrive. Cleanse them both. No. So, get this guy taken care of immediately. Critical, good job. Come on. Okay, everybody getting poisoned. Uh, want to stay in overdrive. Not too much. Good. Okay, he's gone. Let's take care of you. Boom. I hope poison goes away after battle. Uh-oh. Gonna try not to waste our items, if possible. Whew, made it. Okay, I'm gonna hope we're not poisoned. Oh, this is going to get confusing very quickly. Ooh. Let's figure out what kind of equipment that may have been. Okay, so... Here. So... Sandals. What do they do? An accessory? Hmm. Okay, there's a second page. 75 chance to act first in battle. Okay, that could be useful on the right person. Hmm, who do we want that on? Um, let's put that on Rob. Rob has poison moves, and we might want him to have the earliest possible chance to lay down the poison on our foes. Put that on you. While we're here, let's learn some skills. So, recap, uh, the game, we don't level up in the traditional sense. And when we beat bosses and major enemies, we get Grimoire Shards, which the whole party can use. And it's really unclear what they mean by the whole party at this time. You see up here on the left, we have action skills. Oh, okay, so when you learn an action skill, it looks like you get all these stats raised, too. So you kind of control the leveling up. Um, so that's good, okay. We have passive skills, which are always happening in the background. And then we have straight up stat boost. But how I play, I'm gonna want all the attack moves I can get first. And then next it says, learn five or more skills to open up the next tier of moves. Then learn 14 skills to get those last ones, which I, since there are so few down there, they must be super good. All right. 
And yeah, you can see that last health point plus 20 on the bottom right. If you scroll down, those must be super amazing stat bonuses. Okay, so we'll get there when we get there, but right now let's focus on what we got. Rob has Pandemic. Ooh, you can spread the poison around all willy-nilly. And you have Explosion Trap. Ooh, can't learn it now. Mm, okay, we'll get that later, we'll get that later, okay. So, it looks like Land with her spears has elemental attacks. Probably to exploit some elemental weaknesses. And Rob poisons and traps his enemies with debuffs and stuff. Don't have enough SP to get more, but that's what we have right now. And it looks like as long as we remember to come back and give ourselves skills, we'll get stats enough to handle what the game throws at us. All right, we'll be fine. Okay. All right. Let's go. Now we're into the meat of the game. Well, probably. We didn't find a key. We found other stuff, though. There must be another door I didn't notice. Let's find it. Actually, this is a really good time to show you guys this. Last time, I skipped over this page, but we'll look at it now. It said, you can use SP, skill points, in the set skills menu, which you guys just saw, menu to level up your action and passive skills. By defeating enemies, you can receive SP. Every skill a character has currently equipped will gain SP. Additionally, every character will accumulate SP that is placed into their own points pool, where you may distribute freely to whatever skills available for that specific character. So basically, our moves should level up, I believe, automatically, and we also gain a bunch of points in general on a character-by-character -character basis, and then we can put those points into our moves to level them up. If it's like Xenoblade, I believe that'll make the move stronger and maybe cost less TP. And that's good, just to make them better in general. And that's a thing you will see us doing as we move on. Also, to explain the overdrive, in case it went over your head or you're just now joining us, um, basically the game wants us to attack enemies and fight in sort of a rhythm. In the beginning, there is a bar that's yellow, green, and then red at the top of the screen. Let me get into a battle real quick to show that. Okay, see that bar up there? So, I'm not sure if they'll last long enough to show this. If we keep attacking, just in general, any positive attack, the little cursor will slowly move toward green. When we get into the green level, we go into a state called overdrive. In Overdrive, we do more damage to enemies, take less damage from enemies, and it's generally, there we go, Overdrive, a good place to be in. We can keep attacking freely as we want to, but if we overdo it, we'll go into the red zone called the Overheat State. In the Overheat State, we will take more damage from enemies, and our attacks and heals and stuff will be less effective. Our skills won't be as good. But take hope, we can lower the cursor by doing an attack that matches the symbol on the left of that bar by defending or basically not doing anything aggressive that turn. So we can all defend and not really attack and the bar will go down. We can do the attack it tells us to and the bar will go down and we can keep it down in the green in the overdrive state, which is where we want to be. So battles require sort of a pacing to them, which keeps it exciting, especially if you've played a whole bunch of RPGs like this. I think it's really cool. All right. That's what we know so far. There will be more mechanics later, obviously, but that's just where we're at right now.
One more thing to quickly refresh ourselves on are Ultra Moves. If you look over at Len and Rob's help, on top of it you will see the yellow bar that says Ultra Move and RT next to it, which is right trigger, which is how you activate it on the controller I'm using. Um, that bar fills up as the battle goes on, I think the more damage we do or whatever, and the bar will automatically be full at the start of a boss fight. This is not a boss fight. But basically, it's a super move that is unique to each character. So far, of the four party members we've seen, I think they're all like super damaging and either majorly hurt a single enemy or all enemies on the screen. I do not know how big the party is in this game. I think they're probably going to be unique, so some may boost our stats or lower enemy stats, but who knows? We'll play around with that when we find more. Oh, here's the cave I was looking for. Ah, <sighs> no more stalling. <laughs> hmm. There with the poison. Oh, we're besieged from both sides. That's not good. Okay, uh... Let's get rid of your attack first. So we can be attacking both sides like that. That is not good. And poison them both. We're in overdrive, just in the nick of time. Take less damage, do more damage, which is good. Okay, let us cleanse your buff real quick. This is good practice. Uh, we need to take down the buffer on their side. At that rage, even Rob can't miss. Good stuff. Okay. Let's see. Do you have a weakness to something? Well, you have a weakness to death. <laughs> that works. There you go, Rob. Getting plenty of loot, too. I'll check out the spoils later. Let's find this key. I'm so excited to find our first key! These are very nostal nostalgically designed caves. Okay, that brings us all the way around. So it's probably up here? Okay. So, there's probably secrets. Check the walls. Check the walls! <laughs> Ooh, teasing us with that chest down there. Okay, so we had to move first. See, these guys are annoying. There you go. And that's exactly why you're annoying. You gotta go. Do a power shot. Oh, while we're here, we should probably start learning the names of um, our enemies in case it is important. We have just Goblin Soldier and Goblin Shaman. <laughs> okay, so let's attack you. Boom, critical, excellent. And brings us into overdrive. Okay, um. Try you. Ooh, okay, they're moving. Mm. No, no, no point in pandemic. Right now. Keep you nice and poisoned. Oh, he's doing us the same. <laughs> Alright. Keep fighting with all the elements. Good shot. Nice shot. What do we got here? Look at that! A key! I wonder what it can open in here, I wonder. <laughs> Alright, well we got the key. It wasn't in a chest or anything. There is a chest down there. Note the location. We will find a way to you. This I swear. <laughs> they love to tease you with chest. Love to do it. All right, we'll come back. Most. Ah. 
Maybe this door will open and guide us over to it. Who knows? I don't think so. It's sending us in a whole different area. Got a chest there. All right. Got some beds. I wonder if when we started the game. Oh, I'll make note of that. Oh, you have a character portrait. You could be a serious enemy or a new party member. Yeah. Okay, Matai. Put these on. These are the uniforms of the palace guards. Okay, bad guy. Pow. I haven't washed myself for three weeks, but it's the thought of wearing these uniforms that makes me feel really dirty. All right. Spare me your sense of honor. We share a goal, but that doesn't make us friends. Okay, so there's some complicated relationship going on here. No need to tell me that. Anyway, Lady Parnella mm, steadily approaches the city. Kill her while wearing these uniforms and make sure that people see you. I'm trying to instigate a war, I see. I will watch the show from the city walls. Of course you will. But excuse me, I will not applaud. My reputation, you understand. Okay, so this guy is a douche. Okay. Well, carry your, we'll carry your secret to the grave as discussed. Why would they do that? What did he offer them? It's just gold. We have to stop this. Oh, what? I knew. I know that man from somewhere. This is our opportunity. We're doing it. Stop! City guards, you are under arrest. Okay, so she has a strong sense of justice. Not the best street smarts, though. Look at that. So far away from your city walls, and yet so cheeky. <laughs> Hun, the law of the strongest rules here. Get them. Um, during battle, the ultra move bar will slowly fill. Once full, one of your characters can perform an ultra move by pressing RT, right trigger. The ultra move bar is automatically filled at the start of a boss battle. Okay, cool, that is good to know. What does it look like? It's, oh, it's the yellow bar that says ultra move, okay. That's pretty self-explanatory. Looking forward to that. All right, so this is, um, let's, I wanna see Lens move. I'm really interested to see what she does. So let's just poison one of you real quick. Okay, getting their punches in. Okay, what's the lens ultra move? Where is it? Oh, I think it says it over here on the right. So her ultra move, supreme elemental rainfall. Ooh, deals high non-elemental non magic damage to all enemies. Let's check it out. Ooh. Fancy. Nice. And they survived that crap. Or no, they didn't. Battle's over. Okay. <laughs> An earthquake yet again? Wait, wait. There is something beneath. What are you? <laughs> uh. Whoa. A, a sandworm? Are we in Dune? <laughs> All right, boss battle out of nowhere. Get your poison on. Probably shouldn't have used that ultra move, but who knew? Maybe you have an elemental weakness? We'll find, oh yeah, you're weak to water. Good to know. Okay, um, you've been poisoned. Lay on the damage, people. Let's get another ultra move ready. And we have no healing save for items. 
So we're gonna have to watch our HP and hope this guy doesn't do anything too fancy. We're in overdrive. Want to get there as quickly as possible. Here we go. Uh oh. Okay. That hurt. It is officially time to start using items. So what do we need more badly first? TP is really low for the crew. So let's get sweets on. Um, let's get sweets for you. Give one to Rob. There you go, Rob, eat your sweets. Okay, and um, hmm. Water. Okay. We can get our poison shot on. Uh oh. Mm. Make sure you don't have anything on you. Oh, you can heal yourself. Wonderful. Have some sweets. Okay. Raw damage it is then. Ow. Okay. Um. Fill her up first. Power shot in there. Let's keep ourselves in the green by continuously attacking. Uh, keep let's top ourselves off just in case. Okay. Let's keep you poisoned. Extend that out. Okay. That looks scary, but it's not too, too bad. Okay, you're weak to water? Let's clean you down then. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Put you in defense mode. Uh, let's defend for one turn. Let the poison do its job. Sweets for you. All right, start attacking again. Almost have an ultra move ready. Uh oh. Keep ourselves in overdrive. Oh no. Yeah. There we go. Just in the nick of time. Um, uh, the pandemic, just to lower it a bit again. Not that that should do anything. Okay, running out of TP fast. Get a power shot in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Didn't, didn't even have to use our ultra move. There we go. We had a little victory jingle, but we got to earn it. Rob! What's Rob doing? Oh, he's choking the guy. Okay. If you do not want to end up like your buddy, you better spit out what you are up to. Okay. A little intense, Rob. Calm it down a bit. Long live fire sport. Okay, these guys are dedicated. Wait about. Whoa! He just smacked him. Stop it, Rob. This is unnecessary. 
their lives are unnecessary. Okay, Darth, calm it down a bit. He has a knife. Man has a piece. Make it quick. I'm not taking orders from the likes of you. Oh! The curses! Ha <laughs> ha! The way you treat your prisoners. One could mistake you for a nobleman. Tell me, what is your plan? We're going to put an end to this festival. This peace is not real. Everyone's waiting for the new war. A new war? These 150 years have produced a royal line of warlords. They've no idea of how to deal with peace. It's all fake. All they long for is another war, and we're helping them to get it. You are planning an assassination. Peace cannot be your enemy. We yearn for peace just like everyone, but this current state is nothing more than a breather at Ascania's expense. Tarn is using the peace treaty to recover from the explosion a year ago. Our chancellor is a fool and doesn't see it. We'll make the decision in his stead. The new war will bring true peace eventually for everyone. At birth, every man is equal. Stop blabbing. You are rats from the moment your mothers threw you into the world. Do not speak of equality. And now tell me or I will slit your throats. Who was that man before? How many of you are there? Long live Farsport. Long live Volantis. He's gonna... Oh, he ran on the sword. Rob! Probably better this way. If we leave this rat alive, it will bite the next opportunity it gets. It? Wow. Good. Slap him. I forbid you to kill a helpless person in my presence ever again. Do you understand? Y yes, princess. We shall return and report to the commander. A line of warlords. Does this apply to my brother as well? Remember, her brother is Frederick. He does run one of the kingdoms, I believe. And here we are at the parade. Looks beautiful. Look at that. And we get to watch like nothing ever happened. <laughs> It seems like it seems like nothing has happened so far. I guess we foiled the plan. What if there are more of them? What if there is a plan B? I have a bad feeling about this. Let us report to the commander. He will know how to act. He is probably wondering where we are anyway.
Uh, oh, whoa! C character shift? <laughs> okay, is something amiss? And next party member? Question mark? <laughs> okay, so Heim Lane, alright. Are you sure, my lord? Is this parade not worthy as a stage for you? They had a wagon prepared just for you! Okay, Heim Lane looks like a wolf or deer? My dear Hein Lane, sometimes I prefer the way through the orchestra pit. Oh, this is Victor. He looks like a nice guy. Okay. But it is quite loud here. Okay. I'll take the noise of the crowd over the whispers of the court any day. Oh, this guy. So Victor seems like a nobleman and maybe Hein Lane is his servant? We'll find out shortly. Forgive me. What does a simple servant like me know about the problems of such a famous man like you? Okay, definitely. That's the relationship here. Cool. Oh, here we go. Party member. One does not need to be a powerful king or queen to be famous all around Eldrea. Sir Victor of Arcadia is living proof that a civilian can gain such prestige. As the author of stage plays and poems, he has written himself into the hearts of many. Having developed the first uh, letterpress machine, he was able to distribute his works to every corner of the world and accumulate vast wealth. Okay, so he's a nice dude, made the first printing press. He's a writer of sorts, writes plays and poems. Seems to be a humble man, famous man, a man of wealth, and a man who is, of course, well-read. Are you a scholar? Are you gonna be our mage, our black mage, perhaps? We'll find out. She, she, she. Now, give me a break, people. Forget it sometimes, but I am not a nobleman. Okay, humble dude. I like him. Good first impression. Cool. So, let's cut the charades. Just take me backstage and show me where the fun is. Okay, so he's just having fun in town. Very well, Sir Victor. And with that, our story moves on. We have Sir Victor and Heimlein and, oh, hold on. Here we are. May I cordially invite you to participate in our variety of fun games. Okay. So taking a different tone here. Hmm. The games are played with so-called chips. Please take these 50 and try to accumulate as many as you can. Those of you who played Chrono Trigger might have nightmares about games in the start of RPGs. Once you're done, you can exchange the chips for prizes in the north of this plaza. Have fun. This is more to my taste, she she she. Okay. Well then. Next time on Chained Echoes, we'll see what Sir Victor's gonna do in some games. And hopefully those games will have no horrible consequences for the story later in the game. <sighs> Anyways, I'm Mighty Z, and as always, be safe, be well, and goodbye. Okay, now to help everyone and be as nice as humanly possible in these games, these totally innocent games. <laughs> <laughs>